I'm on Discussing Films Twitter page, and I can see an announcement here. Wendell Pierce, dude on the left, has been cast as Perry White in James Gunn's Superman. If you read comic books, you know in 1938 there was no black characters. When Perry White was created at the Daily Bugle for the Superman franchise, this was a white character. It's normal for a lot of, it's just the default standard for these characters and supporting characters from comic book lore to be Caucasian. And that's okay. That is okay. There's no sin for your skin tone being lighter than the others, for, for your being of European descendants. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. And to be removed as some sort of way to make things better doesn't make things better. It's almost recognizing the problem. The problem is that we live in a very white-centered, white-focused world. The answer is not to remove white characters and cast black actors there. Uh, 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 uh. The answer is to elevate other characters who are not white from all these other ethnic gr- groups to elevate them and treat them equally as the, one, the way that you treat white characters. That would solve things without removing anybody who's white. If your Superman movie leans a bit too white because, you know, Superman lowers, you know, and then you go down the, ro- the, the line and you notice that your casting happens to lean a certain way, I get it, but that's just the story that you have. Good thing is you're Warner Brothers. You guys have a studio which pumps out more than one movie a year. How about, you know what I would take? How about uh, you cast Wendell Pierce in something over at Warner Brothers with the same budget as Superman? And I know someone's yelling at the, the, the screen. That, Superman Legacy is going to be the most expensive movie of all time. I heard that rumor too. So let me rephrase that. Big budget. Big budget. Give Wendell Pierce a big budget. And cast his wife, whose skin is just as dark as his, and he's gonna have a son and a daughter also. And I don't know, I don't care what the story is. That's not true. I do care what the story is. Nothing to do with jail, and, and nothing to do with uh, with homelessness. To just you know, keep it positive. Movie, go. Wendell Pierce is worthy of that. Use him in that capacity. But your Superman movie was not white. I did a tweet underneath this, and maybe I should quote tweet it. I'll scroll down, and you'll see what I what I mean. Oh, let's read what RJ had to say. Great actor, can't wait to see his, his take on the character. All right, let me entertain that, RJ. And I'm not going to call you out, RJ. I don't, I don't mean it in a negative way. His talent and his ability to act isn't what I'm putting into question at all. I'm always focused on supremacia branca, which is Portuguese for white supremacy. I'm focused on that and how to combat it. And how this casting is uh, fulfilling their, oh, we're doing enough black. And I would like their, we're fulfilling enough black, to go to black characters, to have long-term effect, effect. Lawrence Fishburne played Perry White once. Here's the second one, uh, which we'll get into my next, let me read you two, Eddie, I'll read you two. I'm going to lose my shit if I see any of these culture war grifters get mad at this casting when we had this man already and nobody cared. I cared. I did. So he's, he's not focused on me. So that's, again, that's me commenting on RJ and Eddie without name-calling them or nothing, but disagreeing with where they're coming from. Uh, my point, why do I still have two fingers up? Because I'm going to talk about people of color. This, this is what I tweeted. It, It's this casting here. He's been cast as Perry White. This casting gives people of colorless fuel for their racist tirades. We're being replaced. They're, no, they really want to get rid of us now. Because that was the Lawrence Fishburne casting one. And then they're doing what... You guys see the pattern here? They're trying to say it's not okay to be white. Come here come here and join this YouTube community of pro-white YouTubeness. As if that's what the world needs, pro-white. Pro-white, I'm saying, not pearl-white. Pro-white. What this does is it radicalizes people. Because now, hmm, that YouTuber is making a little bit of sense over there. When he's talking about how race swaps are... Oh, they're not including us and we're, we're the victims now. And they're trying to say that it's a problem to be a white man. You guys want their underrepresented groups thing that they have? Disney has a whole, and I've covered it many times. Maybe I'll recommend it at the end of this video. But Disney has done, once it gave people of colorless fuel for their racist tirades. While WB gets to say they are fulfilling diverse casting. That's what they get to say. We're doing enough. There are nothing to worry here. No, 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 no. Because what I want is substantial change. What I want is more characters to be introduced into the zeitgeist who are of that hue. What I don't want 
is for a comic book fan or viewer, movie watcher, to go to a comic book and go, oh, Perry White is Perry White is actually, oh, you guys lied to me. I thought I, I felt really proud about this character. I thought this character was man. Or they watch the new cartoon, or they watch an old movie, or the old ju- uh, Superman, which is available on HBO Max on Max, and they go, oh, Perry White is not even. <sighs> man, what a letdown! What pooey. I said this about Little Mermaid. I said this about everyone. I'm, I got a whole video coming out about it. As soon as YouTube can review the request, because it should be advertiser friendly. Goodness. So that whole view, view, video is coming up. I, next, I wrote, and I'm sitting here noticing how this spot was wasted. Oh, somebody liked it. Who liked it? Andre Ware. Appreciate you, Andre Ware. Andre says, I liked that I said, Perry White is Caucasian and that's okay. That's very vital to, to communicate. That there's an advocate advocate for representation who's not anti-white. You're not a, a wrong to be what you're born as. You're not. There's nothing wrong with you. I embrace you. I'm happy that you have all of these positive representations because I love Superman and Batman. Notice I'm naming lead characters. I love all these lead characters. They're great, and it's okay to look that way. Now let's mix it up and have someone whose skin is of a darker hue be your peer. Elevate your melanated characters with your Wendell Pierce castings. I might have to quote tweet that, so I'll copy it, because no no one's going to see it if I just put it under reply. You got to do the thing where you quote tweet it. Boom, bang, paste, and I will hit send 10 minutes from now, because I got to upload the video. So after you watch this video, Go over to my Twitter page, which will be linked in the description just so you can retweet this. I would like for this message to be just as popular as RJ's and Eddie and everyone else who does big quote tweets, if you're for this. Because James Gunn, I didn't ask for this. I asked for Mr. Terrific. I'd like to see a movie spawn from him. I don't know what your direction is, but I saw Eddie Gathebi get in really good shape. And it would be nice for the masses to be familiar with that Kenyan face. It would be great and do wonders because of the reach that your studio has for people to take a likening to that actor as well as that character. And then someone else can play that character a couple years down the road. And they can be, oh, Mr. Terrific, I know him. He's just like The Flash. And it could be neck and neck. I would like for that elevation to happen. But when you take a supporting character who wasn't even at the table read, he's not that important. Was he at the table read? I don't think he was. Maybe he was. I would love for that actor, for that character of Mr. Terrific to get lifted. There's also Static, Virgil Hawkins. I don't know what you got with him long term, but he's a kid. So as soon as you get, maybe do a video game. James Gunn, if you're watching, Peter Safran. But this is not being celebrated over here. This is recognizing the finite resources that go to casting black actors. People like Wendell Pierce. I almost said Wendell Clark. People like Wendell Pierce. There are very limited. And when it goes to a character who doesn't remain as a black character over and over again, I go, oh, there's no long-term benefits to this representa- to this casting. This is a representation. This is, this is attendance. We're doing attendance. We're fulfilling that. Uh, this year, we have enough black castings. No. Well, it's nice that you have the desire, Warner Brothers and DC Studios. They say you have desire to be diverse. And you notice when things lean a little bit too white. And you notice it. It's good. So, so far, we're together. It's just how your execution of resolving that issue is my problem. Make them everlasting. So, Black Adam is there. Um, I said static icon and hardware even for Milestone. Just choose Vixen is a great choice because we know how you guys get with women. You, you, they're all underrepresented groups. So, Vixen would satisfy two of those. So, hey, if you want to put all of your muscle and put all of the chips into betting on vixen bet on vixen we got carry not john stewart because if you did something with him hal jordan would just be you know the ryan reynolds movie was hal jordan's that cartoon from like 2008 was hal jordan so like don't bother with john stewart someone's going to use hal jordan later don't use that green lantern or any of the other green lanterns black lightning works jefferson pierce he had a tv show people know who he is i can't tell who the hell this character is but use him I wouldn't say Nubia because she's a secondary Wonder Woman or Val Zod or Calvin Ellis. I wouldn't recommend these guys because they're secondary of uh, main guys. So just by comparison, they look less than. And that's not what we're going for. 
there's another Batman. Batwing? Don't, no, nah, I'm not with that. Find your character. It doesn't matter who it is. A hero, not Black Manta. Hero. Find a hero. And you can execute representation that way. I'm asking for a retweet. Please tweet this, um, this tweet in the description.